Hey guys, welcome to my new series where I'm going to be showing you the entire process of making a texture pack. This first series I'll be making a 16x pack as you guys voted for on Twitter and I'll be showing you the entire process from making the pack from start to finish. Okay, let's get started. So, when making a pack, you always need a base pack. So here's my default pack. I'm just going to extract it with WinRAR and wait for it to extract. So we go assets, Minecraft, textures, items, and the first thing most people make in a pack is the sword. So it's called diamond underscore sword, and here we go. So this is actually a pretty generic sword shape. It's basically the shape of default, so I'm just going to basically remove most of it. And we're going to make a completely new shape. So I start by doing this, go up by three pixels maybe, and then I'm going to do this. Let's try this. So just kind of mess around until you find something that looks nice. This is a very like known shape, very simple, but it's nice and clean. There's only a few shapes with 16x that actually look decent. So I think we're going to be using this as our shape for the pack, for the sword. So if you haven't watched my 10 pack making tips and tricks video, I recommend watching that before you start watching this series, because that explains a lot of the stuff that I do in this series. So I've got my sword now and it's got nice proportions. It's very simple. The sword, the sword isn't too big and it's got nice proportions. So what I recommend doing is to go control N and then making the width 100 and the height 50. And this is what you will use as a palette. So I'm going to select a 50 by 50 area and fill it in with like my first color. And I think I want my first color to be like a that. And then I'm going to copy it over and just kind of make it a bit darker maybe make it a bit more deep blue and then overall I'm just gonna make these a bit higher use curves a bit with control shift M and recolor it until I find something that looks nice and let's have a look I actually think I like this I'm gonna make it a bit brighter and add contrast and there we go so we've got a nice palette here so I'm gonna use this so what I do is use K and select right these two I use left click and right click to get the two colors and now I can go here and I do this, I select it, and I'm gonna use the gradient tool, which is G, and just make a nice gradient. So I'm gonna just see what I can do to make this look simple and clean. And I think that's pretty nice. So I'm gonna do this, and I'm gonna do Control Shift U, and I'm just gonna make it darker. I'm gonna use fifth. I'm gonna use 50 to make it darker. I think that looks quite good. Now I'm gonna select the outside. And I'm going to do this darker. What I think I'm going to do is actually just do it to this inside one. Do that to minus 16. And then I'm going to actually do some extra shading where I'm going to select this. I'm going to copy it, make a new layer, paste it, and then make it quite bright. So let's go up here. And I think we want a bit less contrast. And I'm going to press E for eraser tool. I'm going to make the hardness zero and I'm going to bring up the brush width and we're just going to kind of go like this until I think it looks nice and actually I'm going to make this an overlay. I think this looks nice and there we go. I think that's a pretty good start to a blade. We can always add more to it later. So for the cross guard, I'm going to do one side at a time. So I'm going to select this and I'm going to go gradient and I just want this to be a simple black and white. Cross guard, so I'm just going to do this. Do a gradient. Select the outside and then make it go a bit darker. So minus 70. That's pretty good. And we can always add more to it later on. So copy it, new layer. Layers, flip horizontal, and then just twist it around. And something I'm actually going to do is take these and just make them slightly darker. There we go. I think that's a good start. And then we can take these this, make that a gradient, so for a little bit of work we've got a pretty simple nice sword and this is always up for, to be able to be changed but I think it's good to start with so I'm going to save that and now we're going to open up Minecraft so we can have a look at the sword. So I've got the sword in game here and something I can already tell is it's kind of desaturated and I think I want a bit more contrast but other than that I actually quite like the sword so 
I'm gonna go back to paint.net and change it. So we're back in paint.net. I'm just gonna select all the the pink parts, and we're gonna try and make it a bit brighter and add some contrast and like that. That already looks quite nice there. And this is already making a big difference, I can tell. And then also the handle, I'm gonna add a bit more contrast. There we go. And so yeah, let's try that. So yeah, now looking at that in game, that looks really nice. I actually really like the sword and I think we should keep going. Right, so now we're going to be doing the armor. So we go to our files, Minecraft, textures, models, armor, and diamond layer one, diamond layer two. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the opposites. So here, selecting them next to each other like this. There we go. Select all that. And just make that that color. There we go. So now we have the armor shape. We can do the same for this side. There we go. So I'm actually just going to take this. These two. And put these like here or something. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new layer. Select and then make this image. And then select this and then do the gradient. So now I'm going to go here and just select all of them. Uh, opposites. So let's do this, 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 this. New layer, effect selection, outline selection, and put it down to black. There we go. So now we've got this. I'm going to select everything and then we're going to go back to the layer. And let's put this down to minus 50. We'll just make it to similar to how the way we did the sword. So there we go. I think that's good. Select all of the inside, go back down, new layer, control F, and then I'm just going to get the inverses, so like this, there we go, right, so select all this, delete the layer, and then copy it, new layer, oh, and then just make it a bit darker, so I'm going to probably put it to about 27, looks good, so now I'm going to make my hardness 0, brush width up, and then select this, and we're just going to kind of fade off the edges a bit. And just do this for every single thing. Just fade off the edges a bit. Right, so there we go. We've done that. Now we're going to go down. Reselect everything. So now we've got this, I'm going to go to a new layer. And I'm going to go to brush tool. And I'm going to make it completely white. And I'm going to put it down a bit. You don't have to do this, but this is something I like doing. So we're going to go there. And basically we're just doing highlights here on a new layer of course. So this looks good. So now we're going to do overlay. Put it down. And then copy the whole thing again. And then put it to white. And then just turn this brightness down a bit. Probably to about there. And I'm going to do something where I blur it. And I just put it a Gaussian blur. And put it down to 1. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select a few certain things like this, maybe this, definitely this, uh, this, and I'm just going to use these and make these darker as like a little bit of a highlight. So I think the armor fits well. It looks good. So thank you guys so much for watching the first part of the series. I really hope you watch the rest of the series and I hope you learn something from it. Anyway, bye.